Are they volunteer to start? Ladies first. Ladies first. My name is Sylvia Mauyura Siaju. I'm the SRC president of the University of Education, Winneba. We call me Solomon for today, for the financial controller for ISAC, and I like Zoe. Zoe, please. My name is Dr. B and I like reading the name. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Likes to be called Valentine. So with me, I am more violent. Hey. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. And, yeah, you took my uh, president. <laughs> uh, president of the Nagoya University. Go. Yes. You can check down to our client higher education. We are at a point where you realize um, it's necessary to match up as to our youth, especially um, towards nation building. Um, I, in particular, from our end as USAC, noticed how the capacity of us, our youth have not been a focus um, for most of our students' leadership. And so we found it necessary to reach out to the Youth Bridge Foundation because they are specifically focused on youth development and then to bring our student leaders here to take them through an intensive retreat. And the, the aim is that once they are done with this and they go back to their campuses, they are going to replicate it and try their best to build up our students um, across all the universities in our country. So guys, let's move on to the program. Let's go to the tourism. Let's have the middle one injected. Wouldn't be straight, not the first one. Can you tell me what strategy you guys like? Hands in mind. You understand? You understand? Yeah, you're the way you're wrong. Can you tell me what kind of power you're building? Tower of Babel. Tower of Babel? Why? We are reaching to God. We are trying to build a formidable good power that has a three base foundation. So we are loading it. We win. We win. We have the user president alongside. We know that his mission is CA and we can do it. That's not cathedral, it's a plan, that special plan for the cathedral. So, so what kind of strategy are you using to build a town? It's a secret, top secret strategy. Yeah. But you have every chance of winning. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? What are you holding your hand? Is it a strategy for your group? Oh yeah, we are trying to, I'm trying to convince them that it's nice. So they should taste it. So when it's done and they finish tasting, the ends are good. Yeah, do your most amazing <laughs> This one, unless you hold it. Extra time. So we to start with guys. Guys. Relax. Relax. One lesson we've learned was that sometimes we all have several ideas, but then we have to compare ideas together and see which one will be best for the team. 
not best in the, an individual's perspective. As a leader, there may be times you may feel very down, you may not be able to, you think sometimes you may doubt yourself, but if you have the belief, the inner belief that it will work, you'll be able to achieve it. extended to the people that we are leaders over. The reason is simple, that if every human being is honest, I think that the world will move on. I'm, I'm hoping that at the end of this session, that we have to have this session, I should say, uh, they would have an, an event, event-free campuses where we wouldn't have any route or whatever because now they have learned. Initially, we could pardon them because they have not learned it. But now, if they know, I am open and praying that they do not have to encounter anything that is beyond them, where students will have to hit the streets, military personnel will have to come in to solve every issue for them. That's what I'm looking at. The experience is amazing. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning about teamwork, connections, are all relevant stuff in making leadership effective. The presentation made by an honorable member as to how we should bring honesty in our politics. We should also um, ensure that we build on integrity as upcoming student leaders, on the fact that the future depends on us. This kind of programs, it won't be nice. People will come and be like, I don't know you. But you see, the facilitators from Youth Bridge, when they came, they used some innovative measures to get us talking. Now everyone is freely chatting with anyone. This one knows your name, they can call you. So it's a very nice retreat. I hope it can continue for years to come. If we do not collaborate and we do not put our heads together very well, it will be difficult to achieve anything substantial for our students. So at the end of the day, that's the focus now. That every one of us as a, as a front must come together and pursue a united agenda. That is the only way we get to do something for our students. So basically, that's the concept of the conversation I had with you. I can't do away um, with the help that we have received from our partner agencies um, because as students we are not so much well equipped um, to even run these for our colleagues to them because we are all still learning. And so partnerships such as what we have with Youth Bridge Foundation, with 8B Education Investment, with um, Essentia, with Hydra Cyber Securities, collectively helped us to organize this and pull it off in a very long while since we last had one that's seven years ago. One of our training partners is Hydra Cyber Security and we have jointly sponsored the USAC Leadership Retreat. John Maxwell Coates, a leader, is one who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. We have supported USAC 
because we believe they will show you the way to stand out as graduates. At Accenture, we believe that certifications connect you to employers. If you are interested in cybersecurity training programs, you can contact us at 0248-931-629. This line is also for Accenture. We are in partnership. Together, we have sponsored this program. Enroll in a cybersecurity course with Hydra, get certified at Accenture, and succeed out there. Thank you.